on the 5th of July, 2016, a user by the name of Spyro1267 posted a message on the Spyro subreddit. It was his first and last message. What you are about to hear is disturbing, but 100% real. Okay, so yes, before I actually explain why I think Spyro or any living being can be alive somewhere in this universe, I know there will be haters slash non-believers of this topic, and that's fine. Just simply ignore it if you do not believe. Think about this. The universe is endless, as far as we know. It's very possible for other intelligent life to be out there in other galaxies. For example, when a human creates something, in this instance, Spyro, then Spyro and the world he lives in, with the other characters, could possibly be spawned far away in another universe. The only difference being it is real, not a video game. Spyro and the characters live their daily lives like anyone else. Or, perhaps it all existed before a person comes up with the idea. The story starts off with this old chat room service known as XAT.com. I heard it is dead now, few use it. You will not know what this is if you are really young. And I was on the page XAT.com forward slash help to ask a few questions, or talk, I think. This was back in 2008, I think or 2010, when Halo Reach came out. Yes, off topic, I had to. I know it was either 2010 or before. Nothing after. So what happened was my name on the chat service XAT was Spyro the Dragon. Yes, how original. Or it may have been Spyro1267 or something similar. But what happened was I received an instant message from myself. Yes, this is where it gets confusing. I checked too. There wasn't anyone pretending to be a duplicate of me in the list of the people in the chat. I was the only Spyro the Dragon. I was confused and thought, how can myself instant message myself? So I checked it, and I think I said, uh, how am I sending a message to myself? And I said, who is this? I vaguely remember what was said, but they said, I am your father. I did not understand and I still don't to this day. I think asked a few more questions, but only one was answered from what I remember. The question I asked was, when will we meet? And they replied, soon. I think the last thing said by whoever it was that was me said, I love you, my son. I must go. I said, don't leave. But I tried at it for at least 10 to 20 minutes. No reply. I knew whoever it was left. I checked the list of people. Still only one Spyro the Dragon. When I went to close the instant message for myself, I knew I would probably never see that conversation again. I do not know if it was a prank, but it sure didn't seem like one. I think this could probably mean that in a future life I become reincarnated into a dragon, possibly. If this is not a prank, that is. I have another situation that happened on the, I believe, now abandoned Spyro Chat. On Spyro Chat, I was young and told the other people I was Spyro the Dragon because I loved Legend of Spyro very much. My favorite game ever. Still kinda is, especially Eternal Night. And they asked questions like anyone else would. How does a dragon type? Do you have a computer in your world? All of those questions. And so I did this for a few days. But after about, I think, two or three days, might have just happened in a few hours, a user with the username Ignitus joined the chat and said, You are not Spyro. And I replied, Yes, I am. And I think I also said, Ignitus. Ignitus then said, You are not Spyro. He is here next to me. I freaked out after what he said next. Ignitus said right after that, Andrew. 
I was freaking out because he knew my name. I said, how do you know my name? Then the user with the name Ignitus, I think, said, You're not Spyro. And I knew right away that a hacker wouldn't just randomly join at the right moment to tell me that I'm not Spyro, or knowing my name even. Everyone else in the chat was freaking out a bit too, I think. What I believe how all of this happened is that I believed in hard enough they actually could sense it from me, even though their world is light years, galaxies away. If he knew my name, I knew it was some sort of dragon magic most likely. Considering the username Ignitus was already taken, but the admin of the chat said no one ever logged on as Ignitus. It was a dead account that someone made for like 10 minutes and left it. Spyro chat doesn't allow you to create the exact username of anyone else. Could it have been the Ignitus that randomly appeared? It is possible, but I believe it was actually them, most likely. What do you think of all this? Again, if you don't believe, don't post anything mean. The universe is endless. We are not the only intelligent life forms in the galaxy. <laughs>